Okay, alright, greetings and salutations, my name is Comic Fire, and welcome back to more Pokemon Pearl. In the last episode, we got our final gym badge, and in this episode, we're heading off to Victory Road. Uh... What was I gonna say? <laughs> oh yeah, it's just, it's been a while. That old job thing sucked up a lot of time. But hey, I finally got my first paycheck out of it. I don't know why it took as long as it did, but... Considering I missed a pay period or two. But hell, money in my pocket now. <sighs> I don't mean to make it sound like I'm bragging about having a job, but... <laughs> Let me tell you, though, it's not a great place. Workers are a real nasty bunch. But hey, I got an interview at another place, so I'm feeling pretty good. And now we got a pearl. We got an LP, baby. I really don't want to fight this guy, so I'm literally going to surf around him. Lol. And now let's actually do what to do. What's the do to do And they said seven aces? <coughs> Man, I don't know if I lost my touch, it's just been a while. <laughs> Ten days has it been? Maybe eleven? I'm recording this on the 24th, I don't know if I'll upload it on the 24th. I still gotta record some Devil Survivor. I know people have been itching for that. Which I'm surprised. <laughs> Hope everyone enjoys Strange Journey. It's a large waterfall. Would you like to use waterfall? Bring me home, Lumine. Yay. So let's say all that dirt eroded and this Pokemon Center just kind of fell into the sea. Wouldn't that be a little, uh... Bad. Anyway, I got my team up to level 47. Still a little under leveled, nearly 20 levels lower than the strongest member of the Elite Four, because I'm well, not the Elite Four, the champion, but god damn! Anyway, welcome to Victory Road. Maybe I should have bought more max repels, because. Oh god, this is how it's gonna go. Well, let's actually toss some items on Pokemon. Like this fist plate. Give that to Ankus. How many? Why do I still have those? Okay. Now, I, ha I got every team member to level 47, because Gabite evolves at level 48. And I wanted to, you know, show him evolving. We get a full heal! Yay! It wasn't worth 99 almost dying to a Star Raptor. I like this Victory Road. I gotta say, out of all the Pokemon games, my favorite Victory Road is most definitely Pokemon Black and White 2. I may not like Pokemon Black and White 2, but god damn, that Victory Road really made me feel like I was going through a road to my ultimate victory. And here we go. Blissey! <clears throat> Blissey has the highest EXP yield out of any Pokemon in any Pokemon game. It also has paper thin defenses, but a ton of HP. It was the original Drift Blim. It's also a normal type. So it's so much HP, just look at how slow it's going down. It can survive a hit like a stab earthquake from Tater Tot just from having so much HP, but those paper-thin defenses certainly weren't helping. Its EXP yield makes much more of a difference with the revised EXP system in Black and White and Black and White 2. I think it would have just been easier to say 5th gen. <laughs> and this is the reason I kept all the HMs and whatnot, because... We still need them, and we're still going to need them in post-game. That's what I liked about 5th gen. I may not have liked 5th gen a whole lot, but... You know what, I could appreciate some of the changes it made that were really necessary. Well, necessary. Just really damn helpful, more like. What? Oh, God! Wild Steelix at level 4. 
47. Sure hope it doesn't come back as a recurring feature. Soon or not fight them. And we get a Max Aether, which is pretty nice, considering I used Earth a lot of Earthquake on that, uh... Oh, this is how it's gonna go. I used Earthquake a few times on that Steelix. Please don't be a recurring feature. Please, no wild Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Boo. Boo. That was fun. I had a good time. Come on. Yep. Oh, dang. Hi, buddy. I'm a real contender! Yay! And here's a new Pokemon we get to see. Carnivine. You can get it in the Great Marsh. It's not a good Pokemon. It's got Levitate, though. It doesn't really need Levitate, considering uh, grass resists ground anyway. It's not too bulky. It can't hit too hard. Its moveset isn't fantastic. I think Ring Out does more damage the more HP you have. That's not saying much, but... <laughs> You know, it was a fire. In the anime, it was, you know, widely marketed, you know? Like, hey, it's Carnivine! Get Diamond and Pearl! Ooh, a Rampardos! Send Lumine against it. Rampardos is the evolution of Cranidos, and I don't think we've seen a Rampardos yet, and it's got a really cool cry, too. This thing has one of the highest attack stats in the game. I do believe it's either the fifth or fourth highest attack stat out of every Pokemon spanning all six generations. Well, we don't know much about the six generation stats and whatnot. Who knows? Xerneas or Evil Tail could have a wildly high attack stat. And who knows? Maybe with Kieran Black, I think it may have fallen to sixth. Anyway, Swiggy Swag. The only reason I really showed this is because Tater Tot hit level 48. So now it's time for the final member of our party to show his face. Congratulations! Your Tater Tot evolved into Garchomp! This thing is ridiculous! Crunch. Nah. Garchomp was banned in competitive Pokemon for being too good. Did, did it? Okay, no, I thought it froze. Wow. <laughs> oh, at least two strength blocks were up here, and then I moved them down, and then wild Pokemon occurred, and why do the planes hate our freedom? Why did I show- Oh yeah, here's Tater Top from behind. It's a beast, didn't she? Something tells me I wasn't supposed to put that other one down. Or was I? Nope, hold up. Okay. Like that. Man with the wild Pokemon- and then I was all pew 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 pew, America. And anyway, I think I know what this next person has. I want to give uh, some other Pokemon to shine in the spotlight for a bit. Not Sea Flame. Uh... No, Angus. This total stranger will be a good way to see if I have what it takes to own the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Yeah! Rip! Here's the final evolution of Turtwig, Torterra! It is now grass and ground. It got a ground subtyping. All the starter Pokemon in fourth generation get a uh, subtyping. Chimchar becomes fire and fighting. 
Tur uh, Turtro becomes grass and ground, and uh, what's his name? Piplo becomes water and steel. That's really cool. I really enjoy it, and I. It really made fourth generation interesting for me, you know, with starters, you know, it's something new. Some typings that hadn't been seen before, except for fire and fighting. But, <laughs> that's why I really hope, uh, sixth gen does something as interesting as this, you know? Okay, we lost, uh, Tater, I mean, Ancus in the most BS way possible. Not much we can do about that. I tried to run away from a wild cadaver and it wouldn't let me and I got psychicked. Eh. That guy did have a new Pokemon, but one of the Elite Four has it also, so I'm just gonna show that one when it comes up. You know what I mean. What's the point now? I mean, what's the do to do when we're like 70s? Not bad, not bad. Yeah! No wild encounters for a sec. Oh boy. And no karate it does! It is Machamp, the final evolution of Machop. It's always been a good Pokemon. Always will be a good Pokemon. Submission isn't necessarily a good move, though. It's fighting type. But it doesn't have the perfect accuracy, and it's got the recoils. Has the recoil done at you, you know? I mean, in first generation, where submission was the best fighting type move. I mean, go for it, but now it's like, whatever. Ah, uh, what? I don't use repels in the slim hope that I'll find a shiny. Well, come on, every other Pokemon LP or finds a shiny in one of their LPs. Then an LP of all five generations so far, and I haven't found a shiny yet. Ugh. I refuse to cheat for one either, that's just... What's the point? Ugh. I don't know if we've seen this Pokemon yet, but here's the final level. Well, the evolution of Chingling. Chimeco! It was also in first generation, but. Not, not first, third! But no one cared about it back then. I liked it because it was rare. You know, like those ones where you sit on top of a mountain for five hours and try to find a Pokemon with a really slim chance of being found. Then you find it and you realize it sucked. That was the that's second generation in the nutshell, basically, right there. Unless we're talking about Heracross. That oh, was worth every one of the 15 hours I spent searching for. Now I really wish I had some repels. Repels would just be snazzy right now. Something tells me I'm just doing this for an item, too. That guy had a good bite at level 49. Why you no evolve to Garchomp? Well, we'll see Garchomps later. Oh, we'll see Garchomps later. Hey, new area. Are we almost done? I'm so tired. Empoleon! The final evolution of Piplup, water and steel. And out of all the fourth generation starters, it's actually a really solid Pokemon competitively. Infernape more so, but Empoleon serves a greater purpose in underused. And I think that's just really cool. Empoleon, I really like you, and you're my favorite starter of all time. Hate your pre-evolutions, though. God damn! Here we have a golem. We've seen him before, though. Victory Road is like a superb place to uh, fill up your Pokedex. Because a lot of the trainers here are Pokemon we haven't seen before. Hey, Tubby. Damn it. We got revenge for calling him Tubby. Now, you can only go past this guy when you have the National deck, so... Bleh. Okay. Zoom? No. Okay, Zoom? Yes. No. Okay, Zoom? Yes. 
Now, let's get back to where we were before, in the waterfall. What a quaint little pool of water. I love it. For queen and country, ho! Oh yeah, Peggy Hill! What's up here? Nothing. Nothing much but an item I missed over there, but hey, it's whatever. I mean, damn. Nearly... Damn. Nearly lost... Tater Tot to a friggin... Where do I go? I forget everything about Victory Road. Ay. Here we get CM59 Dragon Pulse. I'm not gonna use it. I seem to forget about this part every time I come up here. Double Battle 2. Okay. Metacham, Gyarados, nothing new but experience, baby. Also lost, uh... Lumine. Surprisingly, we didn't lose 99. But Lumine. Lumine be dead. Oh, except this wasn't the... Ah! Why did I forget this every time? Is it professional? No. Is it entertaining? No. Is it comic fire? Yes. I just want to show you a move Ferretti picked up at around, I think it was level 45 or 46. Attack fell, not my problem. But the sun is out. So me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that didn't do anything. <laughs> that didn't do anything. To be fair, neither did that. Oh, sunlight ran out. Alright. Well, this is the final stretch. No worry, it's not like second gen where the, the rivals... Second or third gen where the rival just pops up at the end, or in black and white too. No. Just one last big waterfall. The endless oceans. There's still Pokemon. That would suck if you lost here. Like, goddamn. I love the music here, by the way. Not the surfing music, but... Now. The endless, foggy oceans. And the deep ravines. Earth and sea. Now. Let's see who's... Master of the Skies. Who's the top trainer of all? Before we do that, let's heal the fuck up! <laughs> Oy. And we definitely need to heal, like, get some items and whatnot, because this is our final ch uh, challenge, and I'm gonna boost everyone up to level... 55. There's all the balls you could possibly want. Balls! Now, let's get some full restores, because we've got enough money. Fifteen ought to do. Want a few more revives. Ten ought to do. Uh, we got a full heal, so that purpose. I want to get super repels for post-game. Thirty ought to do. Uh, some straight max potions so we don't have to waste our, uh, full restores if we don't need them. I just saved my endgame money for the Elite Four, basically. Bunch of Dusk Bowls for post-game. Ten Quick Bowls. And that ought to do. But before we do that, let's save up real quick. And the episode, of course, as you see by the little bar at the bottom, it ain't quite over yet. Why don't we just fight one more person? Got it! And we have our final rival battle in the main game. 
against Pokemon Trainer Ryan. Because he's our only rival. It's gonna open up with Staraptor. Staraptors, as you know, are raptors of the stars. Ooh! <laughs> I'm stupid. Alright, well. Let's sack Ferretti. Because I want Tater Tot to be at full. You know, damage capabilities. I'm stealing now, you know, that's not that's not gonna work. No, no, you're gonna get leech seeded now. And now you have a leech seed on you. And now I've been close combatified. I bet we can survive that though. We actually took that a hell of a lot better than I thought we would. Oh, swiggity swag. Magical leaf, cause hell, who knows, maybe he might do a significant amount. Well, significant. Wow. Well, that was a crit, but jeez. Way more damage than it should have done. What is with your affinity with Steel Wing? Where's your Aerial Ace? I think you have Brave Bird by this point, which is like the best flying type move before uh, Hurricane came into the scene. Even then, Brave Bird is still the uh, choice for physical wounds. Hurricane's a special type. Special move. It's special. Its mother loves it very much. Ah! Ha ha ha! Ah, Staraptor, you were taken out by a Cherim that switched into you. How do you even do that? How do you fail that hard? Alright, Rapidash, you know, you've been waving that ponytail around all friggin' game. I'm gonna show you how Luminate do. This is the way the Luminate do. The Sea Butterfly. It's more of an aggressive floating. So, come on, Fire Blast, what you got? Yeah, I got nothing. Did like one fourth my HP. That's a four hit KO. You ain't nothing. I'm gonna show you how a real KO do. Or not. I'm gonna show you how a real KO almost do. Oh, you can bounce. Didn't think this one all the way through. This one's going to hurt. <laughs> Quite a sight, my mouth, Dad. <laughs> oh, Lumine, why did I choose? Oh, 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 ow, 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 ow. Nah, at least it didn't paralyze me. Bounce has a chance to paralyze, which means they're hitting us so hard by bouncing down, they're snapping our spines. You just think about that. Pokemon's brutal. <laughs> brutal. Heavy metal. That wasn't even metal, it was Primus. Sweet. U turn! U-turn's actually a pretty interesting move, uh... Yeah, but... Like, when you use it, it hits them, and it's a bug-type. I think uh, Luminate's one of the only Pokémon, if not the only Pokémon besides, uh... Finneon that learns that move naturally. But it does bug damage, about 70 base power, it hits them, and then you switch out. You're forced to switch out, you can't just use it and opt not to switch out. U-Turn is actually, like, U-Turn and its, uh, 5th gen electrical counterpart Volt Switch are actually extremely prominent moves in a competitive 5th generation. I don't know how prominent U-Turn was in 4th gen competitive, but Volt Turn is the combination with that, and goddamn, it is annoying, but it is so effective. Do I run it? I don't. Because I like when my Scizor stays in and not just leaves. He's a swords dancing scissor, you must understand. As my mother always said, a hole's a hole. I'm just gonna keep referencing this until someone comments about it. <laughs> well, that's half his team. About a third of mine is butchered beyond all recognition. Oh, that's right, I elected to stay in against Napoleon. This is how the game started out. So I'm gonna use close combat! You're only six levels above me, Ryan. What do you got? Come on! You can't survive. 
He's actually probably going to take that really well, isn't he? Uh, uh, oh. Do something stupid, please. What do they sell, like, bubble? That'd be hilarious. Oh, no, we just got brined. Oh, you th you think you're tough because you got brine, huh? I'll show you brine. And it was half of my team that was butchered beyond all recognition. Now it's two-fifths. But hey. Brine. That's how I do. Hmm. I'm on that. I'm about that. Science. If you're gonna send out hair across, let me tell you. Unpredictable fellow. <laughs> and Ankus gonna fuck you in the butt. Here comes the Aerial Ace. Cause I am a jolly Ankus, I do believe. Love Heracross. Oh, it survived. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna survive. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Ow, ow, ow! You slimy slut. Now I'm worried. Except literally, shut the hell up because I'm still winning. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, now I'm really worried. Oh, wait, I still have Tater Tot, what am I worried about? It's an instant win button. Let's press, well, let's click my mouse to win. <laughs> but I don't want to. You had Night Slash, and you still didn't go for it. Why you do this hair? Why you do this hair cross? Why you gotta fuck everything up for him? No, Barry, why are you just getting your hair across? Are, are we allowed to fight in a Pokemon Center, by the way? That seems intensely illegal. Like, people are trying to get healed, their Pokemon potentially dying to death. And they're like, oh, let's, 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 let's kill. Let's murder. Let's battle Pokermans. And then the guys are like, eh, hey, what, what the hell ever? It's, it's no skin off of my bones. Heracross is not the Pokemon I'm using, or the Pokemon he's using. It's a Snorlax and a Tater Tot. Yeah! How much will Earthquake do? I'm kind of thinking I should have brought out Ferretti and tried, like, Leech Seeding prior to... Oh. Maybe not an instant win button. It's like a 99 if I get really worried. Not a misclick. I want to go for a flinch chance, and so I don't really want to trigger if he uses, like, a healing item or something. Or not. You want to play Earthquake? I can play Earthquake. Luminate. Did Luminate die? I don't remember. Probably not, but... Also, spoiler alert, after you win this fight... Not really spoilers. After you win this fight, heal up, for God's sakes. You don't want to get this far. Like, yeah, I beat my rival! And then just go straight in to, with a half-dead team. Like, oh, wait a minute, I should have healed. And Tater Tot is our first Pokemon at level 50. That attack stat. Swiggity swag. I guess I'm not ready. And that's it. In the next episode, the finale!